Hello. Uh, I thought all my struggling with parting off uh, may have given you the impression that I can't use a lathe at all and that this SC2 lathe is no good. That is very far from the, the case. So um, uh, today I've got, this is a lump of uh, aluminium that I bought off eBay. It's an off cut from a CNC machine. Presumably this was in the chuck like that and then it was parted off um, and I'm interested to see that the parting off operation sheared off at this point here leaving this little bubble which is exactly what I get whenever I try and part off my stainless steel so maybe these bubbles uh, are somewhat inevitable but uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to face this off on both sides uh, and then um, use it by drilling holes in it. I'm going to use it as a kind of template because I had difficulty drilling holes exactly vertically into pieces of wood, in particular the deck of this uh, boat that we're doing. So I thought if I had something like this with holes already pre-drilled then it would act as a guide for the drill. Anyway, so this gives me an opportunity to turn a large piece of aluminium and see how that goes. It's obviously going to be an interrupted cut to start off with. You can make it even slower. <laughs> Take a deeper cut in a minute. I've got very little clearance on the tool here because um, I've had to move it so far back because it is so big. tool forward in the holder because it's the, the only way I can handle a workpiece of such a large diameter. Right.
All right. Well, mm, this is quite warm. Where is this thing? That's not bad, is it? Despite the horrid noises. So now I'm going to do this side. If you want my opinion, I would like this to be slightly further round like that. Continuously by hand very easily, can I? Still, oh, that's better, isn't it? Oh, oh. Right, so, what I've got to do is wind this thing uh, out again now. Right. I suppose I need to do it a bit more. I've just got a little bit of unevenness at the... So we need to go in a bit.
Just got to move the tool back in a bit. screw. See if that will work. Stand well clear. I think we want a little cutting fluid in here just for for, uh, for joy. clearance we've got here. Not much more. Okay. So I'll turn this the other way around. seamless um, effect. Not bad. Oh, I can't come any further back. <laughs> Well, still quite warm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that will do. And I wonder if it's uh, parallel. Should be, given the way we've made it. So that's 27.1.
27.1 that's pretty good well here's the finished item four five six seven eight millimeters at that point I got fed up with drilling holes but uh, it's too cold in my garage tonight that should do for the meanwhile I've started a bucket of aluminium swarf uh, to go with my uh, brass one um, of course the actual quantity of metal in there is uh, pretty minuscule but it just goes against the grain to throw it away, isn't it, considering the amount of energy and effort that's gone into refining it.